Hey guys, welcome to Ember Escape. Yarek here. And guess what? The lockdown is lifted. Probably temporarily, but lifted for now. And <laughs> where am I? This is the way to the beach of the, of the Baltic Sea. And this is basically a scouting mission. It's still very big winds, so I have high hopes. But uh, we need the wind to, you know, mm, to disappear. So the ember will start dropping to the shores and we will we'll see how it looks like up there. So, in this particular location, there was no signs of amber at all, no debris and no birds. And so what we did, I did change uh, my clothes and we moved to another location uh, with hopes of finding some amber. But different location he had the same story. After walking few kilometers along the beach, there was no amber to be seen. So I used this time to look for some fossils at least. You see these guys? This is piece of crinoid. I don't have any, so I will take it with me. Very weird rock guys, crazy weird. Unfortunately, there wasn't a lot of fossils either. And this was the end of day one. Guys, I I know you can see it, but in the distance I spotted six sea burbs and uh, that doesn't sound like a lot, I know, but that's the most I've seen one place so far. Like today, whole morning I'm scanning for uh, debris, moving from location to location, like 50 km of beach uh, done already, by car <laughs> mostly, of course. Well, a little bit bummer, guys. <laughs> because uh, the birds are gone, I guess they figured out that there is not enough uh, debris in there to stay. But I see them in uh, another direction now. It, it's still close to this area I'm right now. The wind is completely gone, but yesterday it was um, going into the site I am now. So the hope is still not lost, but you know, I will hope for the best, of course. Oh, a candy. I found them, guys. I see them in the distance. I was going this direction for like half an hour and I see them at last. I will show the view. You see? They are waiting. I will go closer and check. Look closer at the waves, guys. Do you see it? It's the debris. I was looking for this for two days now. Now, this is confirmed. 
I see the debris and I'm going to change. <laughs> First, first ones, real ones that I hunted from the sea, guys. Yellow one, guys. <sighs> this is so much fun. We were hunting for amber from 4 to 5 hours uh, with few breaks. 
even though it looks like uh, we are finding a lot of amber consistently, that's not how it was in reality. It usually takes a lot of effort and dedication to find some amber. And there is a lot of factors involved if you will find anything and nothing at all. So, and the current location, I think I exhausted the supply of amber, so we will go like 10 minutes that way. If there is nothing, I guess this is it for now at least, maybe we will return when it's darker with UV lights, I'm not sure yet. So, at night there was nothing at all, so I didn't film anything because there was no amber. So let's start from the fossils. Uh, first, uh, you saw this piece already, this is piece of crinoid. And maybe it's not the best piece, but I don't have any crinoids in my collection, so I did bring it along home and it joins my collection. Next, I did break few rocks and one of them had this, uh, not the smallest, quite nicely preserved brachiopod. And look how it looks from the microscope, quite a beautiful specimen. And lastly, that night trip did bring me something, you see these uh, small weird rocks, I found them at night, and how did I manage to do it? They actually do glow in the dark with UV light, uh, they have this reddish uh, color in them, which is not well visible from the camera, but uh, I was able to spot them pretty easily. I'm not sure what these rocks are, but uh, maybe it's some sort of fossils can't confirm at the moment. If anyone knows, please let me know. And lastly, this is the loot of amber from the sea. As you can see, it's not that many and they are not that big, but they sure as hell brings a lot of joy for me, both the, both the process and just to have more of them. <laughs> this is the biggest ones uh, I found. I did check every, check every single one for inclusions and there was none. And for anyone who is not aware, they shine in UV light. And that's it for the video guys, thanks for watching and bye!